hey guys. Welcome back. Uh, I'm just checking. Okay. Uh, sorry, just seemed a little fidgety for a second there. Um, I actually accidentally recorded at uh, 1080p uh, for the last two parts, well, four parts technically, four videos. Um, but I down converted it down to 1280 by whatever you're used to. And uh, that's mostly because. It was, a, it was an accident. I was noticing a bit a bit of lag on my end, but that's that's probably why right there. But it's okay now. You probably didn't even notice until I told you. Everything seems to be under control in the convention center. And Taggart? He's on stage now. His protection is deep. Only those with VIP passes can get by the guards. We'll just stay here and make sure none of those hooligans try to sneak in the back door. I'm a hooligan. Well, I'm probably not supposed to be in here, but I'll go in here anyways. Well, there is a vent. I am rewarded for my, uh... Lack of courtesy? <laughs> hey, cool. Uh, don't really want that, but that's okay. Hey, what the hell? Whatever. Okay, all I get is a machine pistol, that's so lame. Well, I'm never coming back here. Okay, well, let's check out where these guys went. Oh, well, we're, uh, apparently we're going through the front door, or maybe the back door. I always love using the back door. Third time this escalator had broken down this week. You think they would actually work and not just sit there looking at the damn budget? Tell me about it. Now with all the damage out there, I doubt we're gonna see any increase in funding anytime soon. Looks like the only thing escalating are those damn riots. This whole city is going to see. <laughs> Stupid escalators. This is the end for your kind, all. This riot will force the UN to adopt regulations. Really? <clears throat> what the fuck? I think the subway is shut down. I may have to take a cab. Why does it keep doing that? Guess I'll find out soon. Bill is really changing the world for the better. Or changing it back to what it used to be. To before these people started poisoning their bodies. Or to use his words, their divine engines. See, I have no problem with amputees wanting to get augmentations, especially Oops. our soldiers. That's the least they deserve after defending our country. Like Taggart's patient, Ezekiel. Right. And what happened to Ezekiel? He got himself a new limb that sent him into a spiral of despair because of the drugs. Essentially, what Bill Taggart is asking is, do we really want to have a world filled with addicts being forced to pay exorbitant amounts of money to a bunch of corporate neuropocene pushers. I just don't get why certain people have this loony idea that augmentations will make the world better. Well, as you can see by what's going on out there, I have a lot of work to do to convince the world. Yeah, no kidding. Alright. It's like he thinks human development is a sin. I can't believe there are still people out there with such backward mentalities. This UN resolution he wants passed is persecution, plain and simple. Agreed. He loves to claim over and over again what a peaceful organization Humanity Front is. But just look outside. In a non-direct way, he's promoting this kind of reaction. Well, there have always been nuts like Tiger trying to stop human progress. But by the end of the day, the human need to explore always wins out. It'll be a relic in no time. Oh, another one's talking out there. Alright, well, the back entrance is somewhere over here. I'm not getting hot. It just frustrates me how some of you pro humanists act so superior. Like you have all the answers to every ethical question ever posed. Well, who are you to think you can just turn yourself into a robot? This is obviously the debating. Careful analyzation yeah. part. Backstage area is completely blocked off. Even the janitor can't get back there now. What about the air vents? You're kidding, right? Have you seen the size of those vents? You expect a contortionist or midget is going to try to assassinate Taggart? Don't get smart. You 
You've got a lot of nerve showing your hands or face here. Human evolution is a fantasy, but that is exactly what I am telling you. As a world... Where's your sidekick, Taggart? Six months ago, Seraph Industries was attacked by mercenaries whose objective was to cripple our research. But I've learned the attack was just a smokescreen. Megan Reed's team was kidnapped, and Isaiah Sandoval, your personal aide, was involved. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for Mr. Jensen's intrusion, and I assure you that these accusations are without basis. Are they? This is Sandoval. Why are you calling me here? There's been a change of plans. Seraph's team must not make it to the hearing. But that's too soon. If you want me to remove the GPLs, I'll need a full operating suite. Does the facility have one? That's your man, Taggart. Talking about removing implanted GPL devices so that the people who took Seraph's scientists could cover it up. I see what's going on here. Seraph Industries has received two black eyes in the last few days. The first due to the shocking news coming out of Montreal that biotech companies are secretly participating in unethical super soldier experiments. And the second as a result of their violent escalation of today's peaceful protest. David Seraph and his corporate bedfellows are desperate and in imminent danger of losing the regulation vote, so this man has been sent here to attack my reputation. I'm right here, Taggart. Look at me. I admit, I wouldn't feel bad if your reputation was damaged in front of the press, since you've been doing the same to my colleagues for years. But that's not why I'm here. Seraph scientists are alive, and it's time for the truth to come out. The truth, Mr. Jensen, is that this recording of yours proves nothing. It could have been made by anyone in the world with a grudge against Humanity Front, and you are our prime suspect. Huh. In front. You got a lot of nerve to accuse me of lying. I'm not the one standing in front of a crowd of people hiding my involvement in kidnapping and murder. My involvement, Mr. Jensen? Your recording doesn't prove that. My heart goes out to you. Perhaps it's best that you came to me rather than bringing this recording to the police. You need it to be some kind of proof because you're still suffering. You're trying to find someone else to blame for the emotional trauma you experienced when you woke up from that surgery and discovered you were no longer quite human. <laughs> Redirect. I can worry about myself later. What's really important now is the five innocent people whose lives were stolen from them during that attack. Sandoval knows where they are. Now, where is he? There. Do you see what you just did? The way you avoided talking about your real problem? You're lashing out. You've cast me as your enemy. And you're hoping that by falsely accusing me, by diminishing me, you'll regain the sense of control you lost when someone else ripped your life apart six months ago. I don't have to make you my enemy, Taggart. Your actions speak for themselves. You started the anti-augmentation movement, and now anti-augmentation terrorist groups are making headlines every day. You always say Humanity Front isn't violent. But look outside. We're seeing proof that it is. The violence is a terrible thing. I do not advocate it, but nor can I deny it exists. When I founded Humanity Front, I dedicated the organization to the memory of my wife Marjorie, who died trying to help a man addicted to augmentation surgery come to terms with his illness. Marjorie refused to resort to violence. So why would any member of this group do otherwise? We are simply not those kind of people. I wish I could make you see that, but I fear you are unable to comprehend nonviolent solutions. Huh. In front.
Let's try confront them. I know about your wife's murder, Mr. Taggart, and how it led you to start Humanity Front. I've lost someone close to me too, but I have a chance to get her back. If Sandoval is involved in Megan's abduction in any way, he dishonored your wife's memory. For her sake, and for the sake of my people, I need to know where he is. All right, Mr. Jensen. You're right. For Marjorie's sake, I can't risk tainting the integrity of what I built in her name. I'll help you find Isaiah, and I pray that you are wrong about him. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize, but I'm going to have to beg your indulgence for a few moments more. If you will all please remain patient. I will return as soon as I can. Thank you. <coughs> Mr. Jensen, I'll see you backstage. Hooray, I did it right. So what, were we on TV or something? Wow, this would suck to have to go past with security. Uh, I don't think I'm supposed to be here. Hey, cool. There's stuff there. Over here. I've got her. What? Wait, what? What? <laughs> Why would they do that? I was allowed back there. Like randomly start to d decide to start shooting me. All right. Viewing controversial satellite footage uncovered by Picus. Detroit, Toronto, Mumbai, and Rio de Janeiro. Wow. Mr. Jensen, I appreciate you allowing me to deal with this in a more discreet manner. Save it, Taggart. You've wasted enough of my time as it is. Now where's Sandoval? He has an apartment he uses when in this city, on Grand River Road. He mentioned he was feeling very run down, so I can only assume he went there. I see. He's not an evil man, Mr. Jensen. If he's done what you say, it's only because of his brother, Ezekiel. A man you might know better as Zeke Sanders. Sanders? The man who attacked Sarah's manufacturing plant? I knew nothing about it until after it was over, and then I tried. I, I tried to convince Isaiah not to follow in his footsteps. Good job. Mr. Jensen, please. Isaiah has done so <coughs> much for so many needy people, <coughs> people suffering from implant rejection. Promise me you will deal with him fairly. That all depends on Isaiah. I, I understand, but please try. Okay. Go through the wall. Uh, run away. Uh, I'm probably going to die anyways. What's up? <laughs> they really do not like you punching walls through walls and stuff. What happens if I kill the uh, leader of the humanity front? Will it let me? Will they have like, like some secret augmentations here. Oh, I can't do it. Oh. Oh, it doesn't let me. Oh, damn. I was so hoping it would. Uh -huh. I got the I got the monies after all. All right. Nothing here. Guess we just exit. You got a problem, all? <laughs> really hates me. See what? Why is that such a discriminatory term? Only we can use that term. Okay. Well, uh, I guess we'll head back this way. Sports. Yum. Oh, we're back here. It looks like. That didn't take long. Ugh. All right, out we go then. Merchants and city hubs will not only sell them. This is important. Jensen, I almost didn't recognize you. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, what are the chances? Do you remember me? I was a rookie when you still rolled in SWAT. Nikki, 
Of course I remember you. How you been? The brass got you on ride control too? Yeah, yeah, I am. Or I was until... <sighs> Damn it. Look, something big is going down and I'm kind of freaking out here. You remember that MCB'er, Jacob White? You busted him a couple of times. Yeah, I remember him. Assault and possession. He's still running rackets. No, no, I mean, yeah, shit, I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter because he's moved on to bigger things. Nikki, slow down. Listen, hear me out. I just got word he has his hands on some real military-grade explosives. The prick's got a fucking bomb, Adam. And you know how much he hates the PD. He's going to hit us while we have our pants down with the riots. You gotta help us out here. Nikki, I'm kinda busy. If he's got a bomb, just call it in and follow procedure. What do you think I've been doing? I've been on the horn all night, and my CO already sent a patrol over to Jacob's house. We've got a warrant, so they searched the place, but nothing came up, not even Jacob. Now they're saying my CI is probably full of shit and just fucking with me. <laughs> Bullshit! Jacob's using the riots as cover, and he's going to hit us, and hit us hard. Adam, I need you to trust me on this. You've gotta help me find Jacob. Let's find out the rewards. Nikki, look, I don't work for the city anymore, and I don't exactly have a lot of time right now. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Look, the cops have a Deadpool going. I don't like it, but you kill a cop killer and you get a bounty. I usually reserve this to pay off our CIs, but if Jacob really is going after us, then he's as good as dead as far as I'm concerned. You take him out, the bounty is yours. To be honest, though, I'd rather see him riding behind bars. If you can knock him out and give him to us alive, I'll try to sweeten the deal. Okay. Fine. I'll help. Let's go over what we know. Just the facts. What we know? Just the facts? What we know is he's certified batshit crazy. Hates cops, quotes Che Guevara, and got his hands on military-grade explosives. What more do you need to know? Oh, Christ, man. I've got nobody to help me and... and I can't even breathe. How am I supposed to find this guy? The bomb could be right under us, right now! Nikki, relax. Keep it together. I'm trying, Adam. I don't think I'm cut out for this kind of stuff. People could die. We could die. Just focus, okay? We know that White hates cops, so his first target is probably gonna be the precinct or somewhere nearby. Make sense? Yeah, okay. But it could be anywhere. He wouldn't risk going to the precinct. Too many people would recognize him. That leaves the transit station, the sewers, and the alleys around the precinct. Look, I need to stay here and report any leads to my CO. Can you check those locations for Jacob? Or his bomb? Sure. Got it. I know it's a long shot, but I'm hoping we get back up to expand the search. In the meantime, we can check those areas, and who knows, maybe we'll catch a break. Oh, and Jensen? Please, don't turn him into a martyr. I'd prefer him breathing. Alrighty. Uh, let's see. Where, where do we go? Uh, well, places I can check. And what else? Where is the... Uh, oh, there it is. Oh, it's right up there. That's where it wants me to go. And what's down here? Oh, it's sewers. Okay. That's awesome. Let's keep going then. Those bots still look totally sick. They look like garbage in, in Deus Ex 1 compared to those guys. Sorry, the, the Deus Ex 1 robots look like garbage, that's what I meant. Alright, well, let's see. Where's our closest one? Okay, sewers over there. We'll do, go through the metro first, because that's on the way. I assume he'd have it in a subway station, because that's a... Uh... Oh, not the subway, sorry, the sewers. Because that's like, uh, there's nobody there to go, hey, you're hooking up a bomb. But, you know, we'll we'll check this out anyways. Oh, apparently, yeah, you see this cops here. They tripped me from behind and stripped me of my purse. Were there any witnesses? Yeah, but they refused to stick around to wait for you guys. They were scared for their safety. Maybe you would come sooner. Okay, that counted as me getting it. Breaking windows and looting. Can you at least tell us what line 
Mountains are operating, so we know what station to go to? I'll try to find out. Yeah, I'm sure you will. My augments have automatic GPS, the blah, 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 blah. Okay, anyways. Uh, Alright, we are close to where sewers would be. We'll go to the uh, alleyway first, though. Here we are. Yeah, so many people are getting arrested. It's nice being able to jump that high. <clears throat> and if we don't find it here, it's obviously in the sewers. Yeah, I figured it would be in here. Ugh. The smelly, stinky sewers. Alright, in we go. Isn't this, like, suspicious at all? Apparently not. What on earth? Okay, we have uh, a new praxis point, so we'll use that on this stealth hacking. Oh, we have two. Okay, never mind. I don't know when I got the second one. Fuck. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, there's one over here. What in the fuck? I'm like looking around for it. It must be behind the boxes or something. They're the explosive ones. And also, who who plants mines in the sewer? Obviously, well, actually, that would make sense. <laughs> the guy who's trying to make sure nobody goes in there and stops the bomb. Alright. Let's try this again with 50% less fail. Okay. That's where it was. Piece of shit. Yeah, I was wondering, I guess that's where the blinking light was. I thought the blinking light meant it was on the other side. But, you know, I to me, I was, like, way in the middle there, so, you know, what do I know? Whoa. Detects anything. Very hypersensitive. There we go. Just listening for beeps. Well, that would be an issue. I like how this thing doesn't care when it's pointing at the wall. It's very hard. Very hard to move. Uh, is he a bad guy? Oh, whoops. Let me go, uh, eat some, uh, what's it called? What's that stuff called? Uh, here we go, that, that stuff. Alright, let's see what he says. Uh, Liberty Explosives. Okay. He's got a lot of turrets. That's some EMP. Whoa! Uh, let's just throw it right here. How'd you detect me? Oh, this uses up energy when I'm carrying stuff. I I didn't even realize it. It does! Oh wow. Okay, that's useful to know now. Okay. Oh, I can just hack it. It's just easy. <clears throat> and apparently I lost all my nuke things. Which is uh, interesting to know.
Uh, it's gonna be close. Access and it worked. Okay, it's disabled. I wonder what would have happened if I didn't disable it. Okay, uh, what do I do now? Uh, I think I go back to the other guy. Oh, it's the police station. Uh, that's probably the uh, EMPs as well. Just occurred to me. Yeah, there you go. Whoa, okay. Let's take this very carefully. Fragmentation binds. Don't want them going off. Hear more beeping. There's another one somewhere as well. Oh, there it is. Two of them. Jesus, this guy's a maniac. Fuck. They have so many. Well, it's a good thing they beep like that, so I know exactly where they are. Alright, I think we're out. Let's just find a path out of here. Here we go. We are now in the middle of Crab City. Where do we go now? We go to... back to him. Okay. Oh yeah, we can just go back here. Whatever. All the way back. I wonder if these people are still, like, talking. Nope, they're just staring at nobody. I wonder, wonder what, what would happen if I just punched the, the, the preacher out. You have something to say about Ogs? <laughs> Look how they developed their, ho their whole racist term for it as well. Hey, buddy. How may I be? Uh, we're gonna just sell some crap that I don't want. And don't even need concussion grenades. Holy crap, there's a lot of frag mines. Don't need either of these. Okay. No 10 mil. Okay, good. Be sure to tell all. Just not cops. I am a cop, I think. I have a sniper, right? Yeah. Good. Oh, my bad. <clears throat> hey, can we hop into the car here? Hey, sweet. Okay, I don't know why I would do that, but you know, it's still pretty sweet that I can. They left that urn. You know, while I'm walking up there, I'm just gonna say really briefly, I tried to get, uh, Dead Island just came out, and apparently they, they mistakenly put up a dev build on the PC version. Speaks very highly of it so far. Glad to be playing a, a proper PC game like this. This is this is well done one. I really appreciate you helping us out, Adam, but we're running out of time. We gotta find White before he blows something up. We're in the clear. I left White unconscious in the sewers under the precinct. Thank God. The Chief finally took me seriously and is sending some men to help out. We'll take it from here. Great. Anything else? Yeah, like we talked about. Here's your cut of the Deadpool bounty. I threw in a little something extra for bringing him in alive. It's good to know you're still one of the good guys, Jensen. By the way, Nikki, White's bomb wasn't even explosive. It was a gas bomb. I managed to disable it, but you might want to get a disposal team down there to do a proper sweep and clean. Ah, shit. I totally forgot about that. I'll get EOD on it right away. Last thing we need are more casualties. Man, I'm sure glad I bumped into you tonight. You're gonna have to let me buy you a pint down at Maggie's sometime. If I hang around you long enough, maybe some of that famous Jensen swagger will rub off on me. Yeah, we'll do that sometime. Take care of yourself, Nikki. Nora 92 to Central. Come in. Awesome, and he gave me a silencer, I think. Yeah, there you go. Okay, let's combine with that. There we go. In Central, over. Nora 92. That is. That's a silencer? That looks fucking sick. <laughs> Holy shit. 
That's the best silencer I've ever seen. I don't have much ammo for this, unfortunately, though. How much ammo do I have for everything? Eh, I got a fair bit for that. Lots of sniper. And lots of pistol. Pistol's what I really needed, though. Alright, let's go back up to... It was like around here or something. Uh, where, where on earth is that? It's like a stairway. I think that's that... that uh, I don't know what the hell to call it. Okay, let's see if I can jump up here, pro style. Oh no no, I can I can do it, dude. I love this jumping aug augmentation. It's like the best thing ever. Hey buddy. Yeah, you mad of my augs? <laughs> dude, that, that's what I would want. I'd, I'd want the jumping aug out of all things. To me, height and speed in games are like really fun. Since I can't have speed in this, I might as well have jumping. Because I can just traverse over anything I want. Of course, I'm going to eventually need that thing, that the, the parachute add-on. <laughs> I remember making fun of that too. That was funny. Good times. Parachute add-on. Whee! Doing out here anyway. Stay quiet until the wagon gets here. Alright. Ah, now we're here. Uh, okay, it wants me to keep going up. And we go... In here? Okay, so we're going... Oh shit. Come on, buddy. Come on. Revolver? Carries around revolvers. Okay, nothing here. I wasn't aware that there would be a, a little issue with people not wanting to, me to be around here. <laughs> 